be making basics. What's going on, y'all? It's your man, Ever J Music. We're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump right into what we're going to be covering. So, uh, basically, I wanted to cover another way to fix a no sound issue in Logic. Okay, so um, right now I have a new stereo um, software instrument track up. I have Omnisphere loaded. I have a keyboard here, went to the genre, you know, hip hop, and for whatever reason, when I go to play, I can't hear anything, okay? So I'm playing a MIDI keyboard, just so you can kind of see what I'm playing here. You know what I'm saying? I definitely should hear something. Uh, the, uh, when we first started, or in the previous video, the way to fix this is to make sure that your stereo, like, that your output is selected, you know, the proper way. So you have a stereo output. But um, in this particular issue, that's already selected. So the other way to fix a no sound issue is to come over here to the top of the screen where you see logic and then go to preferences and then go to audio. Okay, and we're going to see that we have uh, an issue right here and that's what the issue is. So let me just look, have you look right here. I'm using a microphone, a MIDI um, a USB microphone to record um, for my for my tutorials and stuff like that and so uh, this could also happen say if you, even if you're using a MIDI microphone for vocals you know on the song or whatever sometimes when you first plug that in it's automatically going to by default set the output and the input to the same to the microphone which is something that you don't want with this Yeti, Yeti microphone it has like an input where you can plug your um, you know headphones into the microphone so you can kind of hear you know directly from the microphone the signal anyway all you got to do to fix the no sound issue in this example is come over here to your output and instead of doing this yeti uh, stereo microphone you're just going to go to built-in output or if you were using like a digital audio interface you would just select that particular interface now we want to go ahead and use, um, leave the input device the same, Yeti stereo microphone, and then just click on apply. And once I close that out, I should be able to hear sound. And there you go. That's just another quick example of what you can do to fix a no sound issue in Logic Pro 10. Hope you liked this video. I'll see you in the videos to come. Thanks so much for watching.